Um, scatter plots, which you have on the second page there. Um, this is where you indicate instances of behaviors across days. This is what you have there. I'll show you one filled out. Here, Monday. If you can't see this in the back, this says Monday, 7 a.m. to 11.30. Um, one instance of a behavior problem, one instance. Multiple instances here between 8.30 and 9, or 8.30 8 and 9.30. Um, no behavior problems here, some behavior problems here, lots of behavior problems here. What you do with the scatter plot as a functional behavioral assessment technique is two things. One is to look where are behavior problems occurring and is there a pattern? Do they occur more often at certain times at certain activities? So here, any speech therapists here? This is your time. I'm, I'm not making fun of anybody, but sometimes people get upset. Um, this was speech therapy. <laughs> now, the speech therapist was embarrassed because she said, why are there more problems when I'm working with her? Well, first of all, um, I, working with him, I didn't, I don't make judgments. In fact, it was very useful information because I know this was the period of time where the most demands were being placed on him. Okay, so there are lots of frequent requests for information, lots of demands, um, and we saw more behavior problems, which suggests it may be demand related. It might be that this is escape motivated. Then we look at when is it not occurring? And that's very important. We'll all, one of the first questions I'll often ask a teacher or a parent is, can you inv Im Im imagine a situation where this child will not engage in any behavior problems? And sometimes they'll go, oh, of course. You know, if I just let him sit by himself in the corner reading a magazine, he'll be fine. That's important information. That tells me, first of all, it's not attention getting, because she just told me it's by himself. Maybe it's escape motivated, because it's away from everybody. Maybe it's tangible, because he wants a magazine. So it gives me ideas. 